The top story this hour, a number of people have been taken in for questioning at the University of KwaZulu-Natal Westville campus in Durban. This following a murder of a student, allegedly by his 25-year-old roommate. Police say the 24-year-old student was reported missing two days ago by his girlfriend. His badly burned body was discovered in the bushes inside the campus premises. Our reporter Mungisi Kumalo spoke to the KZN police spokesperson Jay Naika. A 25-year-old student has been taken in for questioning by police for the alleged murder of a 24-year-old. And like you mentioned as well, yes, that's the student had been missing from the 10th of this month. And of course, in the early hours of the morning, uh, pathology services were able to retrieve the body from these bushes. Just to give you a brief overview and our views at home. So basically, the body was found just down there, which is about a minute's walk away from where we are currently standing and i'm just gonna walk just very briefly with Ntando, the camera person and just ask him just to lead us through and show you where the body was actually found now where we currently standing there's what i can tell you right now is that this is a secluded area there's a rope up road up ahead from us and that road is currently closed and late last night Security personnel at the institution noticed that there was fire in those bushes inside them. And upon close examination, they noticed that the suspect was emerging out of those bushes. And when they went closer to inspect, they noticed that there was a body there that was currently burning. And like you mentioned earlier on, there's that the student had been missing from the tent and his girlfriend had laid uh, a, a case with the Westville police station. And of course, we now found that's a 25 year old student has been arrested but with the images of this new information let me now speak to brigadier jay naka the spokesperson of the steps in Kosovo natal because what i can tell you as well des is that currently right now a number of people are being questioned by the police the police are still trying to ascertain what's really transpired and what we can tell you as well is that the suspect and the deceased were very very close friends in fact they were said to have been playing soccer together and when we spoke to some of the students around the campus everybody's really really shocked the mood is extremely somber people are asking themselves how do you then kill a fellow roommate how do you allegedly kill your fellow roommate but let me now speak to Brigadier Jenaka. Thank you very much for your time, Brigadier. New information, we've now found out that the body was found in those bushes. Yes, this is the bushes where the, the uh, suspect was found emerging from after the security personnel observed uh, smoke emanating from the bushes. We understand that his girlfriend had gone to the Westville police station and, and laid a charge of a missing person. And we understand that the family had also been looking for the, for the student after not seeing him from the 10th. That's correct. Uh, on Thursday afternoon, his girlfriend reported him missing to Westville police station. And the family, friends and uh, relatives, as well as police, had started making a lot of inquiries. And um, they had been also looking, searching various uh, spaces on on the campus uh, in the hopes to find him and we suspect that's probably what triggered the suspect to do what he did this morning mm. judging from where we are right now uh brigadier this is a very secluded area up the road the road has been blocked what do we know about that well we, we was we, looking at the the area and the location where the body was found it would seem that the suspect uh was uh, sorry the deceased was probably lured to this area by the suspect so it made it easier for him to dispose of the body. But all of that will only unfo I mean, be uncovered once we've uh, taken him through the process and an official um, confession and pointing out of the crime scene is done by detectives. We understand that the matter has to go to court and you will have to follow legal due processes. But when the pathology services got here this morning, what is it that they found according to your interaction with them? Well, no, I have not spoken to the pathology services, but uh, from what I can tell you, the detective said that they were confronted with a, a very badly burnt out body uh, that was removed by the pathologist. And do you know how the deceased was killed? At this stage, is mere suspicion. We, we uh, believe that he may have been struck before the body was set alight. So in light of the fact that the body was uh, quite severely burnt, we'll be relying on the pathologist's report. Educators.